everybody. It is Saturday. It is a garage sale day. It's Drew. And Woo! It's another beautiful Saturday. And again, we are blessed to be in this great state of Florida where on average we have a hundred plus sales per 20 miles from where we're located. This weekend there was 196 advertised with a few community sales. Um, we are going to one that currently advertised Funko Pops. So hopefully they have some of the older ones that are vaulted because they have a lot more value. Um, but then we're going to be hitting up a few community sales around the area. So we're going to bring you along with and see what we can find. Let's go get it. Well, that's the How much is your jersey? Oh, you know, we didn't put price on it. Um, I'll take 15. Should be 10? Okay, I'll take it. I'm gonna keep looking. <laughs> that would fit you. You're I'm already. A big guy. I'm buying it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs>
Babe, do you want this? Next off. Sixty percent cotton, forty percent polyester. Made in the Philippines. Well. Like the ones in our room now? I have no idea. I've never played the dark. If you take a dollar, you have two on it. Okay. What's up, everybody? Uh, I We're in the eBay room. Uh, I'm going to go over some of this stuff that we got this weekend. A few of the items have already sold, and I'm going to show those at the end via a screenshot of eBay. But uh, it was another great weekend and excited for this next weekend coming. And piece we got, um, I only spent a dollar on it. <clears throat> I think the value to me is around 20. It was this cool little Looney Tunes like candy jar. Um, it's got 19.99 on it. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. We thought it was really neat. I mean, for a dollar, it was something that I couldn't pass up. Another cool vintage piece we got was a bunch of these Halloween like paper cardboard decoration um, they're from 1983 they're made in the USA by a company called Beistel Beistel B-E-I-S-T-L-E -E. Um, we actually got all four of these for 50 cents a piece and believe it or not these cardboard pieces are selling for anywhere between 10 to 15 dollars a piece online so we're gonna lot them up and try to get them moved quickly for the Halloween season that's coming up Another cool little buy on 50 cents nonetheless. So, I mean, I expect around 35 for the set on 50 cents. That's a pretty good return in my opinion. Um, something I've never bought before, but we gave it a try. Uh, I picked up a tennis racket. It's made by Prince. It's a Prince classic with the cover. It's in pretty good shape. Um, they're pretty easy to look up when you look them up on the sides. They have some information about the tennis racket typically so you can look them up. Uh, we got this for a, for a dollar and it actually is selling online for right around $30. So I've never sold a tennis racket before. I've never actually tried to resell a tennis racket before, but I mean, I took a shot for a buck. It seemed like it was in pretty good shape. Might as well, right? Um, another thing that we picked up. So when it comes to video games, you know, boxes, as I can always mention, boxes, 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 or everything when it comes to video games. This box is pretty beat up. It's for a PSP 1001. Um, it has the original manuals and everything. It's probably a $15, $20 box just for the box. Unfortunately, the two PSPs, um, this one doesn't have the battery that came with it. It also has a broken analog stick. Um, this one is complete, but again, another broken analog stick, and I don't have chargers for them. So I'm actually just selling them for parts as is. Um, typically on your PS 1001s, if they're working, you can get like 50, 60, 70 bucks a piece. Uh, with them not working, you can still sell them for parts around 15 to 20 bucks a piece or so. Um, so I got them up in a lot trying to sell them as for parts because video games sell well for parts. So you can use that as a great tool to kind of negotiate, especially on on handhelds or video games in general. Because if you can pick up the consoles and they don't work, you can still sell them for parts and they still pull good money on parts. So not too bad. This was in a lot deal for eight bucks that we also got a calculator. Um, that I sold already, and I'm going to show that at the end. Courtney picked these up, so we took a stab at it. It was cheap. I think it was like $2 for the whole set. Uh, we bought a ton of the little golden books. Um, can't complain there. Uh, they were, I think we're seeing lots of this size selling for right around 20 bucks or so. Sometimes more, sometimes less. But it was $2 for the whole set of books, so we were happy with that. Might as well give it a stab on some old vintage children books. Um, we also picked up this Tampa Bay Rays reversible jersey. Here's the old logo with 98, which is their inaugural season. And turn it inside out, there's the current logo. 
and then 08 for the year they won uh, the year they went to the World Series, and they was their first time being in the World Series. Um, I got this for five dollars. They were selling right around thirty to thirty-five, so it's unfortunate that they're not in the playoffs anymore. Because if they're still in the playoffs, this should have sold a lot quicker. But we might have to sit on it for a little bit now that they're not in the playoffs. We'll see what happens with that. As mentioned, it wouldn't be a garage sale weekend if we didn't come back with video games. Again, this is my bread and butter. These are my these are my everyday sellers that I've spend. Uh, I've done so much in video game stuff. And, you know, it's my thing that I. Uh, my expertise on in my opinion on stuff that we resell uh, we spent ten dollars to purchase all of this stack of I mean not even like I wouldn't even say they're good games really I mean but it's a stack of video games that I'm selling anywhere from seven to fifteen dollars a piece on you know and they'll go quick they're easy ships or easy listers so I call it the bread and butter because we've got ten bucks into them we got a huge stack and eventually they'll sell or if not I'll just lot them up and get them sold but for 10 bucks this was a no-brainer uh, I also picked up a Sonic 2 the Hedgehog um, for Sega Genesis with the case it's still not for resale on some of your Nintendo games not so much on the Sega games on some of your old Nintendo cartridges if you can find it when it says not for resale uh, they actually do very well in comparison to the ones that don't say they're not for resale. They're a little bit more rare, so they carry an extra value. So be on the look for not for resale on your older Nintendo cartridges because they do have good value. Along with video games, some of the other stuff I do a lot of is sports equipment, sports memorabilia, but a lot of different sports equipment, sports memorabilia, stuff like that. Um, so we also, other than that tennis racket earlier, uh, we picked up a few golf clubs, a few putters. Um, this one's a ping. Uh, putter, golf clubs are tough. They really are. I, you know, I'd like to give you as much advice as possible when looking at golf clubs. I can name you brands, but even if you name brands, some brands are not. Like some some items are part of that brand are going to be their lower level of that, and other items are going to be their higher level of that. Um, but we picked up this vintage ping putter. Um, it's ping made by Karsten Company. It's the ping Echo series. Uh, we spent at this sale $30, and then we got a bunch of stuff at the sale for $30. Some of it we kept, um, some of it I've already shown, uh, but, so we got these, this putter here, it's a ping putter, it's, it's worth right around 30 bucks, so not, not the best, but it helps pay for pretty much everything we got. Uh, but this one was actually, I've never sold this before, nor have I ever seen it before. I was kind of shocked at the size of the putter head, because I mean, it's, it's pretty massive. Um, but it's the McGregor series, it's the response, um, and it's actually a replica of the Jack Nicholas 20th Precision uh, putter, so it's a replica of the one that he used when he won his gold jacket, I believe. Um, so I thought it was pretty neat. This putter is actually a $60 putter used in the condition that it's in. So on the 30 bucks we spent, there was a Chipper Jones jersey, which is my favorite baseball player of all time, so we're keeping that, and it happened to be my size, which is awesome. And then we got a cool pair of Nikes, which I'm going to show next. Um, but all in all, on the $30 we spent on everything we picked up, these putters alone pays for everything. And these Nikes are a pretty rare pair of Nikes that we're going to go over, but they're also a really bad size, so we'll see how long they take to sell. We do sell a lot of clothes. I keep selling. We're not clothes resellers, but let's just face it. We are clothes resellers. We do clothes, shoes, accessories, stuff like that. Uh, we picked up this pair of size 15. That's the reason why I'm, I'm not comfortable about it, but they're size 15s Nike Air Jordans with the red, white color. Um, when you're using, when you're looking up shoes, if you look inside the tags, uh, when you find the sizing, especially on Nike shoes, you're going to see like a seven digit number or an eight digit number. That's the Nike code. And then the, the, the dash and then another like three digits, that's the color. But if you look up that code, it'll bring you right to these shoes of people who've listed using that code. So we found these, uh, I mean, it even has like the interchangeable, I don't even know what these things are called. These things are elastic lacing system that has these interchangeable lacings with the new lacing, with the original lacing inside for these shoes. Um, we were seeing them used, selling for right around 70, new with box right around a buck 40. But again, it's a really bad pair because they're size 15s. We're gonna see how long it takes to sell them. 
we actually weren't even gonna get them because we also got like a Columbus pair of sandals and some, or Columbia pair of sandals and some other stuff with, with what we got. And I was carrying these around and the, the lady having to sell told me to just take them. She's like, you spent $30, just take the shoes. They were asking 15 and I didn't really want to just take them off her hands for 15, but she insisted that I didn't spend any money on them. So I was like, all right, I'll, I'll take them for, I'll take them on top of our, our bundle deal of 30. So on 30, we got a, Col a Columbia pair of sandals, a couple of vintage hats, the putters, a Chipper Jones jersey, and these shoes. So on 30, I, I mean, hopefully if these bad boys move for at least 70, fingers crossed, that 30 would be a, a, a nice little purchase at 30. We'd spend and make right around, I don't know, 200-ish. So keep you posted on that. Graphing calculator. So if you ever see graphing calculators, you know, if they're at a good price, pick them up because they do typically do right around between 30 to 70, depending on the model. Um, especially if they have the slip cover, ours didn't, unfortunately. But always, always, always pull the back off and check the battery area. If it's corroded, those things are just gonna sit. Um, so just make sure you check the battery packs on the ba on the calculators as you saw with ours. We spent eight bucks at a sale and picked up the PSPs and some other stuff with that calculator and we got $30 for free shipping. So not too bad on that and it was a quick, easy sell and a quick, easy list too. So that's always key in our opinion. Certain things are, mu are good buys because they're gonna sell well, uh, but at the same time, you know, if it takes, a, if it's an arm and a leg to ship it, an arm and a leg to get it listed, an arm and a leg to find it, you know, you gotta, just, you know, put put what's worth your time and how much time and effort you want to put in to sell it, you know. And if you're putting in that much time and effort, you know, on a on a, another item, you know, hopefully you're getting a hundred dollars for it or or a bigger profit margin. So the last item we got was this Kenwood receiver. Um, I it's super heavy. Uh, it's from the seventies. The the model numbers on the front right there and then there's a sticker on the bottom that shows the year that it's from etc um, I know I've seen on Lonnie's YouTube on garage flips that I saw him pick one of these up especially being Kenwood so I decided to take a stab at it they only wanted five dollars for it this Kenwood was selling anywhere from hundred and seventy to three hundred dollars in the used condition I, this one is nicked and, and nicked and banged up, but it does work. I tested it. So this is what I was mentioning earlier about finding an item that's going to take some effort to ship it. It's going to take some effort to list it. It's going to take some effort testing it, cleaning it, etc. But on $5 to make $200, that's okay with me. I'll definitely put in that effort to make that kind of cash on an item like this for sure. We have a, we've had a sell a day. I, huh. I'm kind of, you know, being part-time, it's been a lot of fun, and we've actually, over the last 30 days, have had at least one sale a day, which has been awesome. Uh, one thing we recently sold was this Nintendo 3DS, uh, Luigi's Mansion, still in the box. As I mentioned, I'll say it all over and over again, boxes add value to everything that's video game related, and, and with the box, we ended up getting $110 for this item. And then another sale we had, um, when we were in Atlanta, we picked up this Taekwondo martial arts uh, jiu-jitsu equipment for five bucks with the carrying bag and we separated the bag out with the with the gear and we actually sold this gear today for $49.99 plus uh, $11.95 shipping. So not too bad on five dollars getting 60 bucks just for the gear with the bag still to go. So pretty excited about those sales. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. I appreciate you guys stopping by and, and going along with this journey with us. Uh, if there's anything that we missed that we should have picked up, please let me know in the comments below. Uh, with that being said, you know, thanks for stopping by and, and hope you like, share, comment, do all those great stuff, and we'll see you next time.